Hey, what's up, guys? It is Datfro Gaming here again with another Xbox and PC commentary. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a assignment for the Back to Carcan DLC, and uh, today we're going to be looking at the Scattered Veteran, which unlocks the MK3A1. As you can see, that is the shotgun I am holding, and it is a shotgun. It does not. It doesn't look like many of the other shotguns. But it is, um, it is a lot more powerful, and its reload speed, reload speed, uh, is about the same as the uh, USAS, and it is also full automatic. So it's a really great shotgun overall. Um, I just decided to put in some clips of me using it. Uh, but to get this first, you do have to get the familiar territory assignment unlocked, which is the PP19, and that one's pretty simple. I'm not going to show any clips. But um, I will tell you how to get it. You need 10 out of 10 MCOMs uh, armed. Just like you have to be on the attacking team and arm 10. Then you have to capture 10 flags. Uh, and then play 2 hours of car can. So that is pretty simple. Uh, nothing too difficult. <sighs> Uh, and when it says 10 flags, it means conquest. Uh, for a second, I got confused. I was like, capture the flag isn't out yet. Uh, uh, so now, um, to get the scattered veteran, you have to get 10 of 10 kills with the PP-19, which is pretty simple. Okay, so let's jump right to it. Um, we're going to start off. And it starts off with 10 kills with the PP-19, which is the gun I was discussing earlier. Um, the PP-19, right now I have a camo on it. Uh, that's kind of optional. But I would really recommend using the suppressor and the other attachments I was using. Because uh, with guns that have higher rates of fire, they almost always have a lower uh, reload speed. And with that suppressor, it will it won't notify enemies that you're nearby. Oh. So the next one is you have to get 10 kills with the BTR90 IFV. And there's one of these on every conquest mode of the Back to Carcan. There's only one, and it's usually on one team's side. For example, this one, Gulf of Omen, it's on the opposite of the ship side. And you have to get 10 kills with this. Uh, the hardest part about this is just finding them. I mean, like for instance, you can get, you can try to get some guys on the tower. It's not, it's not really recommended. Uh, I don't know. It and it's not a bad. It's not like it's a bad vehicle that's totally nerfed. I mean, it's pretty well rounded. Uh, I would like if you come in contact with another vehicle. Um, the only way you're gonna survive is if you hit Y and you switch to this. Um guided missile and you just switch back and forth constantly because then well the missile has more damage than the uh, little burst cannon rounds so and when it's reloading you can still use the cannon rounds and vice versa so you end up you end up pumping more rounds into them in a shorter period of time than just trying to use one uh, this is when I said my audio sorry it does cut out uh, I did come across this other vehicle, and that is not a BTR, or, yeah, that's not a BTR-90, um, there is only, like I said, one on each map, so you don't have to worry about too much competition in between, um, so the next assignment here is play two hours on Sharkweet, and, or Sharkwai, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. And this is that map. I tried to show you guys a little view. I was just messing around with an RPG. Um, but 
there's a fairly good view right there of the map. It's pretty industrial. It's uh, it's actually a pretty fun map. Um, not too hard. Just play on that for two hours. And uh, <clears throat> the other um, when you're playing on this, I would recommend more mid-range weapons than long or close-range weapons, just because, as you can see, it can it ranges quite a bit from in and out of the buildings to like really far away. So the PP19, in fact, just come here, do that on Charqui because it's a nice, fairly close-range map, and you can get your PP. PP-19 kills, your MCOM, uh, your MCOM destroy, or MCOM arms, excuse me, and, uh, your fly captures all on this map, because it's, it's just so simple. Uh, the next assignment is play two hours of Gulf of Omen. I don't know really why they, uh, Oh, that just pissed me off. I don't know why they have us playing Golf of Omen for two hours. I mean, it's, it's really... I like the map because I'm used to sniping, but if you're not a sniper or you don't like this map, it can really be a painful experience playing on it. Um, and while you're on this, you can take the... which leads us into the next assignment. Uh, the D... And this is it. It is not that grayish color that you'd think. It is this one with the minigun. Uh, I wasn't really aware of that. I thought it was the other. Um, you just gotta get 10 kills, road kills, or miniguns. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. It really helps, and don't be afraid to leave a comment.